It's time to revisit Rich Dad Poor Dad for real estate investing. That's today's video. Let's dive in. Hey there, I'm Clayton Morris. I'm the founder of Morris Invest. I've rehabbed thousands of homes and we're a turnkey business, which means that we rehab the homes, place a tenant and do everything for our clients. So today we're going to talk about the foundation of everything that I do in real estate and that is Rich Dad Poor Dad. That is Robert Kiyosaki's landmark book, Rich Dad Poor Dad. I remember reading this book back when I was young and ignorant, driving around California when I just moved out there after college and didn't know what I was doing. I had grown up with a real fear around money, a real poor dad philosophy on money. The idea that you work for a paycheck hope to save some money, whether it's a 401k, which I didn't even understand a 401k at the time. I didn't even know what that was, but that every year you would hope to get a raise and that would make you wealthy. And then at the end of your life, you hoped you had a little bit saved up to live on and you could coast off into the sunset. So I grew up with, at no fault of my parents, that's just the, the way that 95% of this country is raised to think about money, to think that they should be working for a paycheck. Robert Kiyosaki's model in his book talks about the other 5%. That 5% of the American economy makes up 95% of the wealth. 5% of people own businesses, invest in real estate, and create true wealth. And everyone else works for those 5%. There's a reason for it. It's because, frankly, there's a lack of education, I believe, in this country about wealth building, about money making. Most people, I think in my high school, were taught just how to balance a checkbook. That was it. That was all the monetary training that we got growing up. And the beauty of the rich dad, poor dad model is in taking that paradigm and totally shifting it away from working for a paycheck and having instead money working for us. Robert Kiyosaki talks about four ways, four asset classes that create wealth in this country. Number one, the number one way is through businesses. When wealthy people create businesses, right? And other people work for those individuals. They have employees working for them that are then, you know, putting in the hours and they're trading hours for dollars. The business owner isn't trading hours for dollars. They're probably off in Cancun somewhere because they've built the infrastructure of their business in order to work for them. Now, what he talks about in the second asset class is real estate. Now, the beauty of this model, what Robert Kiyosaki uh, explains, is that when you combine starting a business with investing in real estate, he says those are the two strongest combinations for wealth creation in this country. Now, I want you to think about that for a minute because we talk about that here on the channel all the time, right? The best legal entities in which to buy real estate, how to set up your business entities for real estate investing. We have a whole series of videos right here on the channel that you should check out. But starting a business doesn't necessarily just mean starting an Apple or a Google or a Facebook, although it could. Startups are very powerful and they make a lot of money. A friend of mine just started a healthcare startup and he's doing fantastic and he just started it a year ago. That's not necessarily what he's talking about. What he's talking about is creating an LLC, starting an S Corp, and then purchasing real estate using that business entity. Follow me? You might not have 30 employees, but you're setting up a business in order to become a smart real estate investor. Those two things combine help you create enormous wealth. Because his point is, if you're buying real estate, in your individual name, John Smith, you're gonna be taxed at John Smith's tax rate. And if you work for Starbucks, you're gonna be taxed at a much higher rate than it does Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett used to joke that his secretary is taxed at a higher rate than he is. Why? Why do you think that is? I'll tell you why it is and what Robert Kiyosaki points out in Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's because she is taxed as an employee. That is the 95% of Americans are employees. That tax rate is higher. The tax code in this country benefits entrepreneurs and investors, the 5%. It's just the way that it is. I didn't write the tax law, but we can take advantage of it, right? We can use it to our advantage. The tax code in this country was written to encourage investment and entrepreneurship. 
So the other 5% are business owners and their tax rate is lower than an individual rate. Therefore, if I buy real estate as a business, as John Smith LLC, instead of John Smith, then I'm gonna be taxed at a lower rate than if I purchase that property in my own name. Also, because I'm a business, I'm getting all of the tax benefits of real estate investing. I'm also getting all the write-offs and the depreciation at a level. I'm also getting the legal protection owning it in an LLC that I wouldn't get if I was a sole proprietor and owned it in my own name. He talks about those two asset classes, business, having a business, and real estate. Combining the two is like a freight train. It's unstoppable. If you do it right, you can create enormous wealth. The third way that he talks about mutual funds, buying some stocks, making sure that you're diversified. Okay. And the fourth way, commodities. Talks about uh, gas and oil. Not owning, uh, not investing in oil stocks, but actually owning the real estate associated with the drilling rigs, which you can then become a part of. That's never something that I've ever focused on. It's not my specialty, but it's definitely one of his four asset classes that he says you should be able to invest in. But his first two he lays out are the two strongest and most powerful ways of creating wealth, having a business and purchasing real estate with that business. It's unstoppable. The whole paradigm shift in Rich Dad Poor Dad is really powerful. The idea that if you can teach your children not to think of earning a paycheck. My son the other day said to me, or to my wife and I said, um, I wanna to go to college, but you're gonna to have to help me pay for it because I don't know how to make money. And we just looked at him and he's six years old and we said, oh buddy, we are gonna give him the tools and the skill set in order to create wealth. Something that I never had as a kid. Something that I was never taught in school. That true wealth comes from increasing our net worth and those assets that are producing cash flow. And that's what Robert Kiyosaki talks about at Rich Dad Poor Dad. That the poor dad was worked, worked, uh, focused on working hours for dollars. He would trade 10 hours of work a day for a certain amount in return for dollars. That's not scalable. You can't, you can't expand beyond that. You can hope to get a raise next year. And then the Rich Dad philosophy is in trading money for cash flowing assets, as he calls them the golden geese, right? The geese that are producing those eggs. You don't want the eggs. You don't want those eggs. You want the geese that are gonna continue to produce those eggs month in and month out. And that's the power of rental real estate, right? Because month in and month out, your tenants are producing cash flow for you so that you can hit a certain number. Maybe you wanna, you wanna cash flow $5,000 a month. Well, that's what, 10 rental properties? 10 rental properties and you're done. You're now producing that $5,000 a month. You don't have to work another day in your life if you don't want to. That's what we talk about on this channel and we show you the videos. In fact, my ultimate passive income guide is a video that's pretty long, but it's so detailed and we go through step by step by step how to create passive income. The Rich Dad, Poor Dad philosophy, if you haven't read the book, is the foundation of everything that I do in real estate investing. Frankly, it's the foundation of all real estate investors because it's that philosophy of producing cash flow and increasing our net worth and, and not working for money, not working for dollars and trading it for hours, hours for dollars, hours for dollars. And I gotta work overtime, great, maybe I get time and a half. Uh-uh, no, done. I want you to change the way you think about money forever. If I can give you nothing else on watching this channel, please do that. Try to shift your thinking about money. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. You know, we have such a great community here on the channel. Just go down there and leave some comments, your thoughts about maybe you read the book for the first time and you're taking action for the first time in real estate investing. I'd love to hear it. Also, if you're ready to take action and pick up your first rental property and you want it totally done for you where you don't have to get out a hammer, hire contractors, find tenants, that's what we do. That's my whole company. We help you do it. Click on the link below at Morris Invest. You can jump on the phone with us for 30 minutes and we'll help you pick up your first rental property. That is our goal. And we work with hundreds of investors around the world who have many properties that cash flow every month. So go out there, everyone. Take action. Become a real estate investor and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you back here next time, everyone.